Hello everybody, welcome to today's In Focus and today we will be seeing uh, the Energy and Resource Institute World Sustainable Development Summit. So let us discuss a few points about the key topics that will be that they will be discussing in the summit and along with that what actions is India taking as we are just eight years away to achieving the sustainable development goals and so as a review of whatever the government of India is taking let us see in certain key areas what are the steps taken by the government so the theory or the energy and research institute is a research institute in India in uh, New Delhi that specializes in the field of energy environment sustainable development it was established in 1974 and it was formerly known as Tata Energy Research Institute. So going forward now the World Sustainable Development Summit is an annual event of this institute and this year 2022 it will be held under the theme of Towards a Resilient Planet Ensuring a Sustainable and Equitable Future. Now the upcoming edition that which was began just today, I think the February 16th, it will be held in a hybrid format and it will be held till February 18th. The World Sustainable Development Summit brings together Nobel laureates, political leaders, decision makers from bilateral and multilateral institutions, business leaders, high level com functionaries from diplomatic corporations, then scientists, researchers, media personnel, members of civil society on a common platform to deliberate on the issues related to sustainable development. So we already have a topic called the sustainable development in your general studies paper 3 and it's important to know the list of sustainable development goals uh, that need to be achieved by 2030. Let us begin there because sometimes in the means you might be given a question of, you know, uh, enumerate the sustainable development goals. And so let's see what are, what are the main sustainable development goals. So the first is no poverty, two is zero hunger, three good health and well-being, four quality education, five gender equality, six clean water and sanitation, seven is affordable clean energy, 8 is decent work and economic growth, 9 is industry innovation and infrastructure, 10 is reducing inequalities, 11 sustainable cities and communities, 12 responsible consumption and production, 13 climate action, 14 life below water, 15 life on land, 16 peace justice strong institutions, and 17 is partnership for the goals. So there are 17 sustainable development goals. And let us see what are, what is, as I said, the theme of the summit is towards a resilient planet. And some major topics that will be discussed in the summit uh, is climate change, energy transition, global common and resource security. So let us see one by one what actions is the government of India taking in these main areas. So if you see at climate change, recently the COP summit was held and Prime Minister Narendra Modi released the Panchamrit. Along with that to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, India is a front runner in the International Solar Alliance which is increases the use of renewable energy especially solar energy and now there are a large number of countries, more than 100 in this alliance raising the domestic renewable energy target to 450 gigawatt by the government of India by 2030, then putting in place a national hydrogen mission for clean fuel because fuel is the main contributor to the greenhouse gases, coalition for disaster resilient infrastructure and as I said Panchamrit increasing the green cover, there is the national action plan for climate change under which you have the afforestation plan and especially you have now Recently, the government has launched Nagar Van Yojana and Nagar Vatikas to increase the tree covers. So this is a small list of, uh, of actions that are taken uh, to climate change. You can add if you have any more. 
the second one sustainable production uh, i'm sorry it is not given in the slide now for sustainable production manufacturers usually sustainable production is those actions which does less harm to the earth and there is optimum utilization of resources so you have recycling reuse etc so manufacturers are to make use of recycled water in agriculture there is organic farming under the paramparagat krishi vikas yojana there is use of neem coated urea then you have the pradhan mantri krishi sinchai yojana which asks the farmers to use drip irrigation system especially in the water the the areas where there is less water availability using of hybrid weed seed varieties for less consumption of water are some of the actions taken by the government in sustainable production as i said you can add more to this then you have the energy transition so under the energy transition we know the using of clean energy clean energy is been the main focus of the government and it has been increasing its goal of achieving a clean energy to 450 gigawatt now so you have in this line the national solar mission pradhan mantri kusum that is the kisan urja suraksha evam uttam maha abhiyan to provide water and energy security to the farmers there is solarization of the pumps to decrease the the load on the coal fired power plants i would say then india now has also become the fourth largest wind capacity in the world there is a scheme to support biomass based cogeneration in the sugar mills etc and also energy generation from urban industrial agriculture waste and green energy corridor so the last is resource security under resource security it is nothing but efficient using of resources because natural resources are used and are needed in every activity of economy and also for social needs so resource security is one of the key area where you can ensure that the future generations have enough for themselves uh, without compromising the growth needs of the present generation also and vice versa so in this line the government has come up with a national draft resource efficiency policy let me tell you that this uh, policy has not been uh, finalized yet and it is still in the draft mode it is called as the national resource efficiency policy and it is guided by the principles of reduction in the primary resource that we get from the natural resources of the earth consumption of these primary resources to sustainable levels and keeping with achieving the sustainable development goals and staying within the planetary boundaries that is uh, not reaching a level where you cannot where the resources cannot be renewed then creation of high value with less material through resource efficiency and circular approaches so we have been hearing this concept of circular economy so this is included in the national resource efficiency policy then the third one is waste minimization and the fourth one is material security and creation of employment opportunities and business models for benefit to cause of environmental protection and restoration so you could say that resource security may be in a way for optimum utilization of water not wasting too much of water and the other natural resources such as your your energy resources be it coal or petroleum be it the other mineral resources etc which take a long time to renew so this comes under resource security and these are a few steps that uh, the government has taken in these areas for the topics that are need to be discussed in the summit so you can follow the news for the next two days and can build up on this answer where you could write a perfect answer maybe of 250 words also in case you have something or in the mains and also the sustainable development goals is good for your presentation in your mains paper so thank you and meet you next with the in focus for tomorrow